Greetings once again. This is Pastor John here in Napanee, Ontario uh, from Napanee Baptist Church. It's good to be with you again uh, another day as we continue on during this pandemic and this uncertain time. And we just pray that uh, God will give us strength and will continue to guide and direct for the future. And I hope you're doing well. And here in Ontario, we're just waiting for the Premier to give some kind of an announcement today about another lockdown or uh, some of the uh, predictions or the rumblings that we've been hearing is about a, a state of emergency. So we just need to continue to put our faith in the living God and trust Him uh, through all of this. So if you have your Bibles handy, we just usually have a little Bible study, and then we pray together, and then we commit ourselves for the day. And we just want to encourage each other because we can't get together at this time, so we're, we have this instead. So if you can take your Bible and turn to John chapter 7. We're doing a little series here in the book of John. Uh, we have a week in the New Testament, and then next week we'll go back to the Old Testament, to Proverbs. So if you can turn to John chapter 7, and we'll begin with verse 1. It says, After this, Jesus went around in Galilee. He did not want to go about in Judea because the Jewish leaders there were looking for him, for a way to kill him. But when the Jewish festival of tabernacles was near, Jesus' brothers said to him, Leave Galilee and go to Judea, so that your disciples there may see the works you do. Verse 4. No one who wants to become a public figure acts in secret. Since you are doing these things, show yourself to the world. For even his own brothers did not believe in him. Verse 6. Therefore Jesus told them, My time is not yet here, for you any time will do. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify that its works are evil. You go to the festival, I am not going up to this festival because I am not going up to this festival because my time has not yet fully come. After he had said this, he stayed in Galilee. However, after his brothers had left for the festival, he went also, not publicly, but in secret. Now at the festival, the Jewish leaders were watching for Jesus and asking, where is he? Among the crowds, there was widespread whispering about him. Some said, he is a good man. Others replied, no, he deceives the people. Verse 13, but no one would say publicly about him for fear of the leaders. Well, this is an interesting account because what stands out to me is the fact that even the very brothers of Jesus, his own, we would call them half-brothers, uh, the sons of Mary, didn't believe in Jesus. And we know after the fact that once Jesus died and was resurrected and went back to glory, two of his disciples, for sure, we know, became followers of Jesus and became believers. Uh, James, who wrote the book of James, and Jude, who wrote the book of Jude in the New Testament, they became followers of Jesus. But at this time, during his ministry, they did not believe. And so that's kind of an interesting part of the account here. But then what I would like us to focus in on is verse 13. It says, Among the crowds there was widespread whispering about him. Some said, He is a good man. Others replied, No, he deceives the people. And you know what? Even today, there are people who say the same things about Jesus. Some say this, some say that, some believe, some don't. And there's all this speculation. 
and all these different opinions about who Jesus is and about the truth and about what Jesus preached and what he stood for. And yet, the I think the encouragement here is that here he hid, there he was. He was God in the flesh. He was God incarnate. That's the way John, the writer here, presents Jesus. And yet, there he is, God in the flesh himself, appearing to these people, walking around, and yet they refuse to believe. And, of course, throughout all of John's gospel, the main reason why he's writing the book is to get people to believe in the one true Jesus and not to have all these doubts and all these different opinions about who he is, but to believe who he said he was. And he made, Jesus himself made all sorts of declarations and all sorts of statements about truly who he was. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. I am the door. I am the life. I am the light of the world. And I think the encouragement for us today is to believe. And to believe who Jesus said he was. And especially as we continue through this time of crisis to come back to the truth and the foundation of who Jesus is, who he said he was, who, what he said he was going to do, why he came, all of those fundamentals. That's what we need to come back to during this kind of a crisis, a time of uncertainty, is come back to the rock who is Jesus. Come back to him who is our refuge and believe that Jesus truly is the Son of God. Jesus truly is the way and the truth and the life. And to truly put our hope and our faith in him again. Because he is who he said he was. He is the great I Am. He is God himself. And he is able to help us and deliver us and give us the uh, strength and the enabling to carry on. Well, we're going to pray and we're going to commit our day to the Lord. And I just uh, want to encourage you again today. And may you keep trusting our Lord. May you keep trusting the Jesus who he claimed to be in the New Testament. And may you keep uh, looking to him, keeping our eyes on Jesus the author and perfecter of our faith. And so let's just pray and commit ourselves to him. Father in heaven, we thank you again for this new day. It's a new week, and here where we are in southern Ontario, it is very uncertain with this, with the possibility of a state of emergency being declared. And yet, Lord, you know all about it. And you are the... Uh, you are the, the author, you are the Alpha and the Omega, and we look to you and we trust you through all of this. And Lord, we thank you that you have given us the faith to believe, and we just want to put our faith in the real Jesus, the fact that uh, he is who he claimed to be. And so, Lord, help us today and on into the future, just to turn to him, keep our eyes on him, and to be uh, faithful in our dedication to him. I just pray you'd bless each one who's watching. Bless our church family. Uh, we're, we're having our ladies Bible study today, so bless each one who comes out for that. Bless our leaders. Give us the guidance and the wisdom that we need during this time. And we just commit our day to you now in the precious name of Jesus our Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.
and keep looking up and keep trusting our Lord. And if, again, if you need help or if you need to talk to somebody or you just want to come in and visit, please come to the church or give me a call and uh, we will set something up. So God bless you. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.